So we've already done this pre section here. So we've landed on um, the outro solo now. So let's go through that right now here on House Play Guitar Night Train, the outro solo where things get super difficult. So I'm just going to run you through this now. Uh, try and follow along with the tab. I think that's the most helpful. So from this point, we're on the third finger on the second fret on the G. <laughs> Nice bit of vibrato on that fifth fret. Not too difficult so far. Then we're sliding down to the fourth. And then you jump up here. And then this is how this next bit goes. So. Quite complicated, but if you follow the tab, I think you'll find it's actually explained quite in a straightforward way. There's a slight pinch harmonic for the next one. And then the next bit is um, pinch harmonic. A slight pinch harmonic there as well. So that's actually all quite straightforward. Then we're going up again to the seventh with the more pinch harmonics. There's a lot more here, so. And then you jump up to the tenth here, which is quite difficult. And then first and fourth. And then you jump down. And then it's a rebend. Um, and then you've got to come over with this. And then this is where it gets really hard. So up to the eight. And then this. That slide is the absolute key to this solo. So and it has to be a third finger because then the next bit um, all links on from that. So. Just keep following it along so then it's uh... jump up. So that's where you jump down there. It's a bit of a weird note choice, but it is there. Uh, and then we're on to this next section here. So it's high up. And then over. Lots of unusual bending there, but it's absolutely right. And then it's this 17th fret. And then you get to... And the gradual fade out happens over time. And that's the sort of specific notes that you need to play if you want to follow it absolutely identically to the solo here. So I just ran it through there for you so that you can kind of play along really slowly to make it accurate. Now, obviously, when you're doing it, you can just improvise. <laughs> Yeah. 
there's no requirement to follow along with Slash's notes, but I just spent a while tabbing that out for you just so that you can actually play along if you so choose. That's it from us. Thanks for watching this whole series. It's been a lot of fun. Um, do check out some of the playthroughs we've got and the rest of our Appetite for Destruction series. I hope that's been useful. Follow the tabs. They're all free and available to download there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.